Hello, my name is David Chanazan. I'm a research intern at King Abdullah University of Science and Technology. And I'm going to present about symbolic PD analysis with using Mathematica. And this is a research, uh, this is joint work with Diogo Gomez and Mayor Safayan. Hello, I'm David Chanazan. I'm a research intern at King Abdullah University of Science and Technology. And I'm going to talk about symbolic PD analysis using Mathematica. This is joint work with Diogo Gomez and Mayer Safarian. Okay, let's go. And the architecture of the talk, I will say, of course, the motivation, previous work, and the key functions that we have implemented, the basic functions, and after what we built within these basic functions, what complicated and complex things we have, we have been doing with these basic functions. And the most, uh, some motivation, the in, uh, in physics, conserved and the dissipation laws describes the conservation and dissipation of uh, fundamental physical quantities such as mass, entropy, linear momentum, and energy. And uh, these computations by, to do by hand often and, uh, are really hard to do. That's why we are working on automation. And also for nonlinear PDs, the in principle infinite number of the conservation quantities lets us to be sure that uh, we have comp complete integrability. The thing is that uh, when in the sh in the scheme of the numerical solution, if we have already conserved found conserved quantities, we can see in the scheme of the numerical solution at first part in the medium and the, in the last. If, this concert, uh, if these quantities are be, uh, staying conserved, uh, conserved, that means that our numerical solution is not uh, uh, is, uh, true. It's working by a correct way. OK, let's go forward. OK. And uh, the problem we want to solve is to find the dissipation and uh, conservation laws for a nonlinear system, nonlinear PD system, or uh, of single PD. And for simplicity, let's consider one PD, Let, uh, where the x is the uh, high-dimensional variable in periodical domain, and u x is the uh, the set of partial derivatives with respect to that. Uh, variables. And uh, we want to find the expressions and functions of the form EU, for which uh, the time derivative of integral of U is equal to the zero, and its conservation law. And uh, the integral U is uh, more than uh, uh, or equal to the co some constant, or the time derivative of that integral is less than or equal to zero, is dissipation law. We want to find such laws. And uh, as a simple example, let's look to the heat equation. And so to find conservation of energy. And here is the time derivative of the integral, ux t. And uh, we can take uh, the derivative inside of the integral. And after, use the right-hand right side of the heat equation. And after uh, doing uh, integration, we will get this part, which is equal to the zero, and we will get that uh, the energy is conserved, and this quantity is conserved. And uh, let's go to the... It's, it's not open. Okay, and some similar computations, we will get that uh, this uh, quantity is cons uh, dissipated. Okay, let's go forward. And uh, there, we are the, not the only one who are working on this. There were guys who did some papers uh, about finding conservation laws for specific PDs, non-linear non PDs, and uh, also uh, solving some uh, uh, over determined systems. Okay, let's go. And uh, 
uh, I want to talk about the simple task what we are doing. We are generating just mon monomials or pol uh, polynomials, integrating by parts. We are cleaning null Lagrangians after simplifying integral identities. And the pra uh, after applying Euler Lagrange operator and uh, finding undetermined coefficient matrix, we uh, we are, and after we are solving, the, there is some uh, equation we will see, and we are getting the conserved and dissipated quantities. The thing is, we have implemented some basic operations, and uh, within this basic operation, we can do some hard and uh, complex stuff, what we will show, what I will show, to find the conserved and dissipated quantities. And let's. Uh, talk about Euler-Lagrange operator, or the same as variational derivative. Here we have some um, expression, EU, and the integral if, uh, expression is, uh, of expression is equal to the zero. It's equivalent uh, that we will uh, apply to this expression the Euler-Lagrange operator, and uh, we will call this null Lagrangian. And we here we can see the form of Euler-Lagrange operator in uh, one-dimensional case and multi-dimensional case in two-dimensional case. Second one. Okay, let's go forward. And using this Euler-Lagrange operator, we can define the time derivative. And uh, we will take time derivative inside of the integral. And after using uh, a chain rule from calculus, we will get uh, this part. And after, we can see that uh, it's the same as uh, or that we apply to the expression Euler-Lagrange operator. It multiplied ut, and the ut, we will take the right side of the equation, right-hand right side of the equation, f. And uh, now we can state the final result we, which we need for further research. Here, here is e u is conserved. If uh, this expression is equal to the zero and u is dissipated, if uh, this integral is more than one constant and this integral is less than zero, less than no, less or equal to zero. Okay, let's go forward. And here is the variational derivative function. Wolfram Research has built-in function uh, variational derivative d in the variational method packets, but uh, we have implemented for us because it's it, it, this one is much faster. Just <coughs> we will see results. For example, here is uh, one-dimensional case. Here is one more example in two-dimensional case. And with uh, now more complex one with two dependent variables. OK, let's go forward. And here is the, uh, uh, our, one of the, our basic functions, monomial generation. And what it does, it generates monomial in, uh, with respect to uh, dependent, uh, independent variables, maximum degree, maximum derivative, order of derivative. And uh, let's see, for example, uh, maximum degree is 2, and maximum derivative order is 4. Here is the generated monomials. And we can change to be even them, the uh, degree, the uh, of the whole ex expression. Okay, and um, here we have uh, we can we have a parameter we can have parameter generators which lets us to generate mono monomials with respect to these generators. For example, here you can see. And uh, one more example with other generators. Here are the monomials uh, using these generators, and one more example. And uh, here we can see that uh, we are, uh, with respect to u and v dependent, x independent variables, uh, the maximum degree and derivative or uh, the maximum order of derivative is 2, and generators are specified. OK, let's go forward. And uh, for polynomial generation, we have implemented the function, which uh, with, uh, here is uh, the first fine symmetry group. Uh, what it does uh, as a parameter, it takes uh, the system of the PDs uh, and uh, dependent and independent variables, and it uh, finds the symmetric group of this uh, system of PDs. And let's see the system. 
symmetric group. And uh, uh, here you can see that the, the per, uh, possible permutations between, and it, it finds discrete symmetries, sorry, discrete symmetry group. And uh, possible permutations between dependent variables, the, between the um, equations, PDEs, and also independent variables, and so parity symmetries, That's the sign changes. And uh, what we can do by using this uh, function, we can uh, generate all the polynomials which are symmetric under the group, which solutions are symmetric under the group, gr uh, the, the group of the uh, discrete symmetries. And here, let's see, for example, and these generated polyno polynomials are symmetric under the group. Uh, of the system of PD specified here. And uh, as we are uh, working on the on periodical domain, the integration by parts looks like this in the periodical domain. And let's uh, see some examples of integration by parts. It's, we have implemented this function, for example, in one dimensional case, in two dimensional case, and here is more complex example. By going farther, and uh, we need, uh, uh, with uh, using this function, we are deleting all the null Lagrangians from the list of uh, some terms. And uh, what is the null Lagrangian? The, the term which uh, the integral of this term is equal to the zero because we should clean to have more, to be able to do computation faster. And here is one, um, that's sorry. I don't know why it's, okay. And here is, uh, it cleaned null Lagrangians from the list. And here is one more example. There were all null Lagrangians. It cleaned all. And here is one. It left one, which is not null Lagrangian. And uh, here is uh, more comp the same function, but more complex. What it does, it uh, removes all the terms from the expression, which are null Lagrangians, not from the list, from the expression complex. For example, from this part, it removes all the Null Lagrangians, all the terms which uh, form together Null Lagrangian. And here is one more example. And here is two dimensional case. Uh, ah, it says that everything was Null Lagrangian, the expression overall. And uh, we have function undetermined coefficient matrix. And uh, let's see. For example, we have the expression, and we want. Uh, what we are doing here, we, uh, we are defining in the different form than it has because we should, uh, for example, this, is, uh, this is expression is equal to the zero. We should find the parameters in uh, uh, the conditions of the parameters where this uh, expression is equal to the zero. And what we assume that uh, the terms which are dependent on uh, U and V dependent variables of our nonlinear PDs uh, uh, are linearly independent. And thus they are linearly independent, their uh, multipliers should be zero to, uh, to, uh, for the whole expression to be zero. And uh, we will use, and it's, uh, defines the, this undetermined coefficient matrix, and we will see how we use that for finding dissipated and conserved quantities. And for finding uh, conserved, uh, conservation laws, uh, as I said in the tasks part, there are some basic <coughs> functions we are using. We are generating monomials and polynomials. We are constructing gener gen uh, general form of the density. We are computing the time derivative. And after, uh, we will determine the uh, unknown constant coefficients, and we will 
solve with respect to them to find the quantities which we want, uh, conserved quantities. And here are the functions which we are using for each step. Okay, let's see some example. For example, KDV equation. Let's uh, generate monomials. For that also we can uh, uh, generate symmetric uh, polynomials uh, with fine symmetric group, which I showed, and strictly symmetric polynomials with respect to the group. But we will go with a simpler one with monomials. And here we are cleaning null Lagrangians. And let's see the number became. Uh, there were 15 null Lagrangians. And we are gener generating coefficients, constructing coefficients and constructing general form. And what we will do, uh, we defined the, in the theory that it's uh, how we find the conserved quantities. And now we are using the theory part to and using the uh, Euler-Lagrange operator. And uh, we applied that. And now we will find uh, undetermined coefficient matrix. Here is the matrix. And uh, what we will do, we will solve with, re uh, with respect uh, to the uh, parameters to find uh, the conditions which we need uh, for the expression to be conserved. And here is the conditions. And we, if we apply to the general form these conditions, we will get this, that uh, this expression is conserved with respect to the KDV equation. For the KDV equation, it's conserved quantity. And uh, we also, we have complex function with more uh, possible parameters. It's conserved quantity. And uh, for this case, it does the same. It finds the conserved quantity. What do I don't get the OK, it goes. Let's It shouldn't be so. Let's see. VPN is working. VPN is working. OK, it gave. And also, uh, for example, we have uh, implemented one function with tests if this uh, expression is conserved or not. And uh, if we put testing true, we will get true or false. In case to it's uh, we have done for test testing. And let's go forward. It we will see that it worked. Okay, and here uh, examples with heat equation. Oh, let's wait. I don't want to say that it's odd, but. Maybe. <laughs> OK. And here are some examples with heat equation, which finds the conserved quantities. Okay, and uh, it's a three-dimensional case, but I will not execute that because it will take time. <laughs> it works. <laughs> and here is uh, more examples with mean field games. The first one is Hamilton-Jacobi equation, and second one is transport equation. In more general case, it's uh, Fokker-Planck. And uh, for, let's find the conserved quantities of this mean field games. This bit is okay. And here is uh, another example of mean field games.
the okay this is, uh, this expression is conserved and also wave equation we have uh, now we wrote in the with two systems of this is the simple uh, uh, is the simple transformation from wave equation to the system of PDs together they are the wave, wave equation and I will not execute because it's, I don't know why it takes time and okay let's find uh, dissipation laws and short ways so here is the with resolve mathematical built-in function to find the dissipation laws and here are some uh, problems that we will get with this function for example for nonlinear expressions let's see what what it says that it didn't find the result also false with this kind of and also with high order expressions it's it's it is not finding it giving some bad result which we don't want to see okay and let's go for the function we have implemented it's uh, a <coughs> general positivity and uh, four polynomial cases and it finds the necessary and sufficient conditions for being positive the expression and here is one more example and for non-polynomial cases we are find uh, we can find now for just the sufficient conditions and let's see here and here are more ex uh, one more example <coughs> uh, also this one and also we have uh, a case which finds the asymptotic positivity asymptotic is uh, it finds the conditions for being uh, positive just uh, with higher uh, for the higher uh, order and uh, order terms of the higher and lower order terms of the expression and with the higher and or, uh, lower degrees of the expression with the, the terms with respect to the terms and let's see it finds the conditions and uh, also by simplifying this uh, in uh, with respect to the conditions we have got with positivity function we can use now positivity basic function with just result function get the conditions to be preserved uh, to, uh, to be positive and here is one example with heat equation okay let's generate monomials let's uh, uh, clean our Lagrangians from the monomials list of monomials and we will construct the general form and we will do time there uh, we will apply Euler Lagrange operator to the general uh, general form and uh, also we will multiply with the right uh, hand side of the equation as it was shown in the theory for the dissipation laws and uh, we will cancel now Lagrangian integrated uh, we will integrate by parts to have more symmetric uh, terms that, uh, to be able to have more symmetric terms to work with because it will be easier for us okay Uh, and uh, now just uh, removing the, uh, the denominators and uh, we will find the positivity conditions it uh, works like two minutes I will not here is the conditions of the positivity for this equation for this uh, expression and we will just have more complex the form of these conditions and table form and by simplifying the general form with respect to conditions we will get that uh, this is dissipated and here is the uh, terms of our expression which is dissipated low for our uh, for heat equation and uh, conclusions we have found conserved quantities dissipated quantities with uh, using some basic functions and for now what we are doing we are working on over determined system solver and what we are doing we are removing from the uh, list uh, right now we are working on the removing 
uh, redundant PDs from the system of PDs. And uh, with using that, we will go for finding Lee symmetries and so on, point symmetries. And thank you. <laughs>